Hello, and thank you for joining me, Shani Lee, for this shoulder strengthening and stretching flow. So we're going to be focusing on opening up the chest, the upper back, and working on strengthening our shoulder muscles. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you on the mat. So we're going to get started here today in Sukhasana or easy seat with the legs crossed. If that doesn't work for you, just find a way onto the ground in a comfortable seated position. And I invite you to close your eyes here to help us start to center into this space, into this moment, onto our mat. Wherever you may be, maybe you are at home, maybe you're on vacation. I'm currently at a friend's family's country home in the countryside of Catalonia, Spain. It's a beautiful summer morning. I'm just feeling very grateful to be here. And I invite you to think of something that you are grateful for today. Whether you're doing this in the morning as well or in the afternoon or the evening, As we start to slow down our breath here, lengthening and deepening it, letting everything fully expand, our chest, our stomach. As the shoulders slowly melt away from the ears, maybe we notice if we're holding tension somewhere. Trying to release into that space. A nice, long, tall spine. And let's take one more round of breath here. And exhale, side out. If your eyes are closed, I invite you to slowly open them. And on your next inhale, arms reach up into the sky. Nice big stretch here. And exhale, let them come back down. Starting to ease into the shoulders. In, arms reach up, feel how your shoulders move. Exhale, back down. Inhale, breathe in, lift up and stay here. And I invite you to link your palms forward or link your fingers together and push your palms up. And now exhale, push your palms forward as you start to cave the upper back a little bit. Inhale to expand, maybe you Try to extend a little bit further. And exhale, push and round. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift your arms up again, and this time we'll find a twist, exhaling towards the right. The left hand comes to right knee, right hand falls behind, opening up in the upper back here, gazing over your right shoulder. One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. Slowly start to move back towards center as you inhale, breathe in. And exhale, we'll take it to the other side. Really enjoying this nice stretch and opener. One more round of breath here. Exhale, side out, slowly start to come center. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, hands fall through heart center and we'll move on to our knees. So if you need to adjust on your mat as you see fit, come into the tabletop position, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, nice long spine. And I invite you to start finding some gentle movement here. Maybe swinging around a little bit. One more round of breath. And we'll start to find our cow and calf. Finding center, finding stillness, exhale the breath. And inhale, drop your belly towards the mat. Really push the earth away from you as you lift your chin, opening your chest. Pithy loss in a cow pose. And exhale, start to arch everything as you find your cat pose, chin to chest. Twice more, inhale nice and slow here, Bitti Lasana. I know this is opening the spine, but also focus on the shoulders and the chest and the upper back. Exhale, bring it in. Last time, inhale. And exhale. 
come back to center. Inhale your breath, Bharmanasana here. And if you need to adjust your hands so that you feel like you won't fall over if you take one away from the earth, find that. And then on your next inhale, right arm opens up to the sky and we'll flow three times here to thread the needle. Exhale, turn your palm up, interlace your finger, touch your shoulder and ear to the mat. And then inhale, bring it back out, extend. Exhale. The last time, inhale. And exhale, thread your needle and we'll stay here, dropping your right shoulder and right ear to the mat, pushing the earth away from you with your left hand. Hips stay high. If you want to extend this, you can walk your left hand over your head, stretching your lats out. You can also let your arm swing around your low back, whichever feels best to you in this moment. For one more round of breath here. Exhale, side out, release whatever you have, and inhale, we'll bring it back up into tabletop pose to move to the other side. This time, right hand stays on the mat. Inhale, left arm opens up. In three times, threading the needle. Exhale, gently tap. And inhale, extend again. And exhale. Last time, inhale, open. And exhale, thread the needle, weave it through, dropping left ear and left shoulder towards the mat. And either stay here, pushing the earth away with your right hand. If you want, you can tiptoe your fingers out and stretch out through the lats. Or you can weave your hand around your back, maybe finding a bind around your left leg, whatever feels good to you. For one more round of breath here. On your next exhale, whatever you have, start to release it. Inhale, we'll all come back into tabletop pose. And the last opener here, coming into Uttana Shishasana, puppy dog. If you need to walk your knees back to give yourself a little more space for your chest, walk your hands forward and drop your chest, keeping your hips high. Maybe your forehead comes to the mat. If that's too much, stay on your elbows. Maybe you come to your chin. Whatever feels good for you in the upper back. One more round of breath here. Exhale, release. And slowly start to lift up. And we'll start coming into a strengthener. Drop your elbows and extend your legs out, adjusting on your mat as you need to come into forearm plank. If this is a lot, you can drop your knees to the mat, but keep your spine relatively in the same position. And we'll hold here. Four more rounds of breath, push energy through the back heels. One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. And coming into dolphin pose, start to lift your hips, walk your feet in, and find a dolphin pose. Maybe you push just a little bit further back with your elbows. Two more rounds of breath here. Last round of breath. Exhale, side out. And start to walk your feet all the way back to your forearm plank. One more round of breath here. And exhale, drop your hips, come into Sphinx Pose. Stay on your elbows, shine your chest forward, maybe smile. Breathe in here. One more round of breath. And exhale, start to drop your chest to the mat as you open your elbows up. And the spider tip your fingers out onto the sides of your mat. Finding cobra in the chest. Inhale, lift your chest again using your low back muscles. And here we're going to drop our right shoulder into the mat as we look over the left. Exhale. 
Inhale, lift up. Try not to put too much weight on your fingertips. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, last time. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Come back, center. Inhale, the breath. Lift up higher, 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 higher. And exhale, fold your chest back down. Bring your hands into the mat. And now push up fully into your rising cobra pose. Chest fully shines towards the front of your mat space. And we're going to come into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes. Start to engage your core to lift your hips. Nice and slow here. As you extend back into Adha Mukha Svanasana. First one of the practice. And you want you can pedal your feet out here. <sighs> Taking another round of breath here. And then we're going to move into plank three times. Start to find stillness first. Exhale the breath. <sighs> Inhale, undulate your body forward into plank. Exhale, take it back. <sighs> Four more times, really focusing on the shoulders here. Inhale, plank, pushing the earth away, shoulder blades. Try to join your spinal column and exhale, pushing your biceps back to your ears. Three more times, inhale. And exhale. Grounding down on all 10 fingers, inhale. Exhale. The last time, inhale. And exhale. Ground down in the left foot and hold right leg lifts up into the sky. Holding here, trying to keep your chest square to the mat. One more round of breath. And stepping your foot between your hands. Exhale, drop your back knee. Lift your torso up. Find your low crescent lunge, Anjani Asana. Take a moment here. Again, sinking the shoulders away from your ears. One more round of breath. Exhale it out. Next inhale, try to stretch your fingers up just a little bit more. Interlace your fingers, push your palms to the sky. And like we did when we were seated, exhale, arch everything back as you push your palms forward. Inhale, lift up. And now to add a little addition, this time on the exhale, stay where you are or try to roll onto your front heel as you come into Ardha Hanumanasana. Still pushing with your fingers. Inhale. So whichever variation you want, three more times. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale the breath. And last time here, exhale, side out. Stay here for a moment. Practice the balance. One more round of breath. And inhale, bring them back up. Exhale, hands frame your foot. Lift your back knee, step your back foot back and move through your vinyasa flow. If you want to drop knees, chest, chin and slither through, you can. Otherwise, come through chaturanga and cobra, upward facing dog. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. One more round of breath here. Exhale, side out, starting to feel heat in the body. Right foot stays, left leg lifts up into the sky. Big breath in, hold it here, keep your shoulders square. Next, exhale, step your hand between your legs, drop your back knee and arms swing up as you take a big breath in to find low crescent lunge Anjani Asana. Shoulders melt away from ears. One more round of breath here. Next, inhale, just reach a little bit higher to lace your fingers, push your palms up. Staying in the lunge in the lower legs, exhale, Work on the body and the upper arm push. Inhale, bring it back up. And now this time, if you want, try to roll onto your front heel. Exhale, as you arch your back. Three more times, wherever you're at. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, breathe in. And breathe out and hold here in Ardha Hanumanasana. Really push your arms away from you. One more round of breath. Inhale, bring it back up. 
and exhale hands come to the floor step it back move through your flow this time again maybe you do chaturanga maybe you lower all the way down baby a rising cobra upward facing dog the choice is yours to meet a downward facing dog big breath in big breath out taking it to the top inhale lift your heels bend your knees gaze forward and step or hop your way to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift find ardha uttanasana exhale bow it down roll all the way up arms reach up into the sky big breath in and exhale hands come heart center tadasana pose staying here for just a moment so working into the shoulders arms reach up again breathe in exhale hands come behind you and let your right arm grab your left forearm inhale here and drop left ear to left shoulder opening up into the neck one more round of breath here exhale drop your chin towards your chest as you slowly release arms sweep up again reach up breathe in exhale taking it to the other side other arm grabs other forearm and other ear drops towards other shoulder one more round of breath here release chin to chest inhale arms reach up in mind a big stretch into the upper back and exhale fold it forward we'll take it back down to the mat inhale halfway lift ardha uttanasana hands right beneath your knees or still on the ground or on blocks bend your knees plant your hands step or hop your way back and move through your full flow oh, finding adho mukha svanasana here exhale side up and adding on right leg lifts this time open your knee i know we're focusing on the shoulders but it always feels good to open up into the hips too notice how there's more pressure on one shoulder than the other one more round of breath and we're going to take our right knee to the outside of our right elbow as we move into plank exhale kiss your elbow with your knee take it back inhale twice more exhale and inhale exhale inhale and this time bring your knee through stepping it between your hands back knee stays off the mat as you rise up high anjaniyasana lunge take a moment here send energy through your back heel shoulders melt away from your ears try to find 90 degrees in the front leg if you need to adjust one more round of breath and then palms turn out exhale start to draw your elbows in towards your rib cage cactus in your arms and then hold breathe back up now stay here or this time as you exhale drop your back knee kiss it to the earth and hold reach whichever version you prefer three more times exhale and inhale exhale and inhale the last time exhale inhale and exhale start to fold it forward as you try to drop your back heel towards the mat finding pyramid pose hold here as if you're holding the sun between your hands a ball between your hands one more round of breath exhale side out use the end of the exhale to use your core to lift yourself back up back heel plants 90 degrees and find your warrior 2 feel the burn in the shoulders exhale side out in how reverse your warrior back hand drops front arm reaches up into the sky extended side angle shoulder and elbow reach forward as your back hand arc extends up three more times inhale reverse your warrior and exhale elbow to front knee extended side angle inhale and exhale option to stay here or if you want you can float your bottom hand forward or you can float it out above you again 
imagining that you're holding a ball between your hands. Invite the shaking. One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. In a warrior two, bring it back up. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat. Move through your vinyasa flow. Meeting in Adho Mukta Svanasana. And taking it to the other side. Right foot stays, left leg lifts up into the sky. Bend your knees, scorpion leg your dog. Stay grounded in your shoulders. One more round of breath here. And moving into plank, exhale, left elbow, kisses the outside and with your left knee and bring it back. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale, kiss. Inhale, extend. And stepping it all the way through, exhale. Back knee stays high as you lift up into your high Anjani Asana. Crescent lunge. Catch your breath here. And exhale, palms turn out. Elbows draw into your ribs. Inhale, lift. And this time add the back knee drop if you want. Exhale, cactus in the arms, opening the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, last time. And exhale. Bring it back up. Inhale. And exhale. Start to extend your upper body forward, dropping your back heel, finding pyramid in the legs. Imagining you're holding your ball of light between your hands. One more round of breath here. Big sigh out. And start to lift it back out. <laughs> back foot comes to 90. Drop your arms into your T. Find your warrior two. Virabhadrasana dos. Catch your breath here. Feel the blood flow in your shoulders. One more round of breath. Exhale, slide out. Back hand drops. Inhale the breath. Front hand extends up to the sky. And exhale, front elbow to front knee as you extend your other arm overhead. Extended side angle. Twice more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, and stay here. Option to float your bottom hand forward, or if you want, float it up above. Imagine you're holding your ball. Two more rounds of breath. You try to smile. <sighs> Exhale, side out. Inhale, find you back in your warrior two. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat and find your way through your vinyasa flow. <sighs> Breathing out. Meeting an Adho Mukha Svanasana. One round of breath here. Exhale, release. <sighs> Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop your way to the top. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Rising all the way up, arms reach up into the sky. And exhale, hands come through heart center and back down to your side. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. Arms reach up again. Inhale. And finding a bind behind our back. Exhale, either interlace your fingers or grab onto your forearms, whichever feels best for you. Open your shoulders first, inhale. Soft bend in the knee, exhale, fold or pour your chest over your legs. And if you want, add the bind, lifting your arms above your head. One more round of breath here. Exhale, sag it out, hands sweep to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And vinyasa flow. <sighs> 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 
downward facing dog. Next inhale, right leg lifts up into the sky and stepping it all the way through, exhale. Foot comes between your hands, turn your back heel into 90 and let's come straight up into our warrior two. Next inhale, reverse your warrior. Next exhale, extended side angle. Reverse your warrior, inhale. And this time on the exhale, your front hand reaches down towards the mat, towards the inside of your front foot. Lift it up, inhale. And exhale, plant your hand again. An option to stay here, maybe extend your arm overhead, or if the bind is in your practice, turn your top palm backward and find your bind, dropping your shoulder towards the level of your knee. For one more round of breath here. Exhale, slowly release. Arm reaches up into the sky. And this time on the exhale, cartwheel your hand back down towards the mat, walking your right foot out a little bit to come into lizard pose. Now option to hold here. If you know any version of an arm balance is in your practice, you can go for that. Maybe you just practice balancing your front leg, even if you don't take your back leg off. Whichever works for you, if this is really intense, you can drop your back knee and come on to the outer edge of your front foot. You can even come on to your elbows. Four more rounds of breath here, whatever serves you. Last round of breaths. Exhale, side up. Start to come back onto your hands if you're on your knees. Try to maybe hold the lift once and then bring it back and move through your vinyasa flow. One round of breath here in Adho Mukha Svanasana. And we'll take it to the other side. This time left leg lifts up into the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Back heel, 90 degrees. Cartwheel your arms up. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana dos. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Extended side angle, breathe out. Breathe in. And now hand to the mat, exhale. Inhale, back. And exhale, hand to the inside of your left foot. And either stay here in a nice extension or drop your shoulder just a little bit further as you find your bind if that's in your practice. Maybe you look up, maybe you look down. One more round of breath here. Exhale, slowly release your hand and let both come to your mat as you shift your hips towards the floor, opening your left foot out to come into your lizard pose. Now again, option if you like your flying lizard, you can practice your arm balance here. You can drop your back knee. You can come onto the outer edge of your left foot. You can drop your elbows, whichever works for you from four more rounds of breath. One more round of breath here. Exhale, side out. If you're on your elbows, come back onto your hands. Maybe you try a balance just for a second and then step it back and move through your flow. Breathing in through your heart opener and breathing out into downward facing dog. Inhale the breath here. Exhale it out. Inhale, heels lift, bend your knees, gaze forward. Find your way to the top of your mat as you breathe out. Find a nice flat back and pour back down. Arms reach up into the sky. And exhale, hands come heart center down to your side. One round of breath here. Exhale, slide up. And we'll go again. Arms bring your chest forward 
and exhale, cave down. <sighs> Halfway lift. And this time we're going to stay in our plank. Exhale, plant your hands and step or hop your way back and hold here. Pushing the earth away. <sighs> One more round of breath. And then finding a side plank, start to turn your heels on towards the right. Weight in your right hand. Maybe you stay here, maybe you stack. If that's a lot, you can keep your left foot on the mat. If you want to lift your right leg in, or your left leg into the sky, you can. You can find a bind, you can play with whatever you want. Three more rounds of breath. One more round of breath. And we're going to come into a lunge. So swinging your hands back down to the mat, step your foot all the way up outside of your left hand and lift it up. And now exhale, hands come to the mat and finish your vinyasa flow. One round of breath here. And then we'll do that on the other side. And hold lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift and fold. Rise all the way up. And exhale, hands heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift. Bend it down, find your plank, hold here. Pushing the earth away. One more round of breath before we find our side plank on the other side. And as you exhale, start to drop your heels now off to the left, weight in your left hand and lift up. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you stack your legs. Maybe you use your right foot as a support. Maybe you lift your leg, whichever you want. If you fall, that's okay for four more rounds of breath. Whichever you choose. Invite the shaking. One more round of breath. And moving into our lunge, stepping it all the way through, lifting all the way up, breathe in. And vinyasa flow, breathe out. And find movement. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out. Inhale, heels lift, bend your knees. Find your way to the top. Ardhutanasana, Uttanasana. Reach up into the sky. Exhale, hands heart center. Moving into chair pose, find your weight in your feet, the distance that you need. Arm sweep up again. And exhale, sit your hips back, finding Utkatasana. Again, holding your ball of light. If this is a lot in the shoulders, you can bring your hands heart center, but we'll go there in just a second. One more round of breath here. And now palms together, hands heart center, breathe in and twist it towards the right. Left elbow hooks to the outside of your right knee. One more round of breath here. End of the next exhale, bring it through and switch to the other side. Three rounds of breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Step it back to plank, hold here. Two more rounds of breath. Last round of breath. Exhale, side out, and we'll lower ourselves all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes and let your hands come by your sides. Take a second here, maybe you touch your forehead to the mat, keeping your space between your shoulders and your ears. And we'll practice just lifting the chest 
and the hands. Inhale, reach your arms back, lift your chest. And exhale down. Twice more. Inhale as if you're pulling yourself up. And exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. And now do just that. Or if you want, on your next inhale, lift your legs with it. Finding a Shalambhasana, locust pose. If you want, you can link your hands, pointing your index finger away. Inviting the shaking. One more round of breath. And exhale, release. Breathe it out. Feel the heat in your shoulders. And then now as you're ready, lift your chest again and reach for one foot. Maybe you stay there. Maybe you reach for the other one. And maybe you stay here. Or if you want, breathe out. And breathe in, lift everything up. Finding Dhanurasana, low pose. Really kick your hands, your feet into your hands. Two more rounds of breath here. Last round of breath. Exhale, release. Hands move by your chest. Slowly ease your way up and come on to your knees. Madrasana. So if you need to move them underneath you, you can. Breathing in for a moment here. Exhale, side out. Letting the back readjust. And then inhale, arms reach up into the sky. And we'll move into camel. So if you like to tuck your toes for that, you can. Otherwise, exhale, bring your hands to your sacrum and open here first. If that feels good for you, you could interlace your fingers and open your chest from here. Or you can reach for your heels and find Ustrasana. One more round of breath. And push your hips forward. Last round of breath. Start to tuck your chin first, then hip, hands to hips. Ease it out. Untuck your toes, sit your hips back down onto your heels. Readjust here. And inhale, come up onto your knees, arms reach up into the sky. Exhale, hands come to the mat, step it back to your plank. Notice how your low back feels. Exhale, side out. And now as if we're gonna come back into side plank, lift your left leg off the mat and step it now behind your right and put your weight in your right hand as you open up into wild thing. So if coming into wild thing is hard from downward facing dog, you can always come into it from a plank. One more round of breath. With control, bring it back to your plank. And we'll take it to the other side. Inhale the breath. And exhale now to start to touch right foot behind left and open up into wild thing. Two more rounds of breath. Exhale, start to come back into your plank with control. And exhale, drop your knees back to the mat and we'll come into a seat. Coming into a inverted table, going to place the soles of your feet on the mat, knees bent, hands behind you, however you want to see fit. Inhale here, exhale, side up. Next inhale, push into your heels, lift your hips up, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Inhale, push, exhale, down, thrice more, inhale, and exhale, twice more, exhale, 
And last time, inhale and hold here. Really trying to open your chest, push into your shoulders, push into your hands, push into your hips. Two more rounds of breath. Last round of breath. And exhale, sit it down and come into a regular bridge. If you need to adjust on your mat, you can. <sighs> Soles of the feet still on the mat, knees still bent. Lowering your back to the floor, to the earth. <sighs> Take a second here. And now coming into normal bridge, start to walk your shoulders in. You can place your hands by your hips, or as you lift your hips, you can link your hands underneath you. And inhale, push your hips up. Exhale down. <sighs> inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Last time, inhale. And now stay here. And if it's in your practice, I'll come into shoulder stand. You can. I like to kind of drop my hips, tuck my knees in, and use the momentum to lift everything up. <sighs> you can stay nice and tall here. You can play with it, whatever you want. And if you really want to stretch into the upper back, you can start to drop your feet behind your head to come into plow pose. Or you stay in bridge. You can also find a gentle twist if the shoulder stand and plow don't work for you. Dropping your knees to one side or the other from your bridge pose. Two more rounds of breath here. Exhale, side out. If you're in plow with control, start to slowly unwind, or you can play with coming into bridge again. And we'll all drop it back down. Walk your feet out a little bit, let your knees knock in, reset the lower back. One more round of breath here. Exhale, side out. And start to find some nice slow movement. If you want to hug your knees and your chest, you can. Maybe find happy baby. We'll slowly make our way back to a seat. If you like to roll, you can do that. Otherwise, push yourself up. Find another seated position. If you were in Sukhasana in the beginning, I invite you to try to find the cross in the opposite direction with your legs. Sitting up nice and tall here. Last little thing to close out. Arms reach up into the sky. Cross your right arm over your left, finding eagle arms. If that doesn't work, you can give yourself a little hug. And then hold lift your elbows up here. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last time, inhale, reach up, unwind. Exhale, release, maybe roll it out. And we'll find the cross on the last side to close it up. Arms reach up into the sky, now cross left over right or whichever you didn't do last time. And inhale, breathe in, lift up. Exhale, take it in. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, unwind, reach up, and exhale. Hands come down to the mat, heart center, onto your knees. Whichever you prefer, I invite you to close your eyes. Taking a moment here. Reconnecting. One more round of breath. If you need a longer Shavasana, you can pause this video. Lie back down, whichever you want. Exhale, slide out. Otherwise, you can maybe open your eyes. And thank you for joining me for this flow. I wish you the best in your week or day to come. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste.